Okay, enough of me yakking on about badges. I'm sure you're like, hey, let's just go take a look at it and what do I have to do to work on badges? Okay, so let's just get into it. All right, so I'm here on my MacBook and you can see that I'm at the website mytechbadges.com. Okay, that's where you gotta go for everything, mytechbadges.com. And then we have our navigation across the top here. You can see from the splash page, it's a new way to learn tech skills in elementary school. And obviously the first one here is for educators. That's not for you. And then we have one here for students. That's you. And then I have one for basics uh, that go over just some of the simple things that students need to know how to do. I have a student showcase. The student showcase is really cool. It's where I kind of feature some things that get sent to me. So if you have an amazing project that you do in badges, go ahead and send it to me. My email link is all over the place on this website. Send it to me and I would love to feature it in the student showcase. And then of course I do write a blog. Okay, so let's get right into it. So you come to the page and then you go to students. You click on students up there. And then you have your choice, depending on which piece of technology you have. This little note is probably gonna be gone by the time you see this. That's just uh, that I'm working on things right now. So people know that it's, it's kind of, everything could be kind of a mess right now because it's being worked on. Okay, so it doesn't really matter if you do, I, I mean, you do whatever technology you need, but the lessons are going to be generally the same uh, depending on what technology you have it's you know the idea is the same but it might change slightly for whatever piece of technology you're using so for this example and go ahead and uh, just watch along here but I'm gonna go and click on MacBooks and then once I get into the MacBook tech badges there's usually a video at the top here I don't know why it does these weird screen grabs on me I kind of look angry in that one I don't know and anyhow, just explaining that the first thing you should do when you come here is do intro to badges. That's where you are right now if you're watching this video. So I shouldn't have to explain that to you. You're already there. And then, uh, but let's go in to see exactly how you do a badge. So uh, I'm going to go, let's try this one right here. So videos two, which is how to do a Ken Burns style video. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on that. And then that opens up to the page here. Starts off everything with a badge summary. Uh, this is helpful to make sure that you're not in the wrong place. Just kind of read that over. So uh, for this badge, you'll learn how videos, uh, how, to, how to make videos that are so good they could be on the Discovery Journal uh, channel right there. Uh, looks like I need to put a little, this is all you know, in beta, so I'm, I'm changing things all the time. If you ever come across a mistake or something like that, just send me another email and I can fix it here. Uh, I should say how to make videos that look so good they could be on the Discovery Channel. Um, da, 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 da. See, there's my, my email address right there if you want to do it. And then, okay, so the first video always is a little intro video so that you know more about this badge. So I'm just going to go ahead and press play here. Now, this is going to sound a little bit funny because it comes out of my speakers and then into your microphone here. Hello, Kidlets. Mr. Click here with another great and exciting tech badge for you. This one is called Video... Two. Okay, you get the idea. So it's just me talking to you like we're doing right here. But let's get into a training here, okay? So let's go down here. Uh, and then usually there's a student example. So you'll see what students just like you are creating with these badges. This kind of gives you a little, kind of sets the bar. So you can say, oh, okay, I know what kids are doing, you know, rather than something that I made as an old guy. It's something that you students are making. And then it's a little bit of competition there. Like, oh, I can do better than that maybe. Okay, so that's what we have right there. Uh, and then we get right into the training tutorials here. Okay, and, and I'm just gonna press play on this so you understand how this works. All right, so let's get into making Ken Burns style Video. Okay, so I'm going to talk over myself here, but you, you see that I show you my screen. Sometimes I, I take cameras out into the real world and show you different things just so you understand how to do things. The actual script that we're going to be using, okay? So the first step I want to tell you is that you've got to write a script, okay? You just can't go into this all willy-nilly and just like, I'm going to make myself a video. Okay, so let me fast forward so you can see some things here. And press play. See the images and then your voice over top is just kind of like, let me get into this, okay, here we go, You're fast forward. So I, I, you can see everything on my screen that I'm doing and then you just follow along. So the, let me just press pause on it. The biggest trick you need to know is that the, the pause button, the pause button is your friend, okay? So you see me do something on the screen, you pause it and then you go do that. Okay, it's really easy. And the videos are usually only three to four minutes long. And so you just kind of walk along with me 
through these videos and it will start to make sense. Okay, it really is easy stuff. Let's continue on a little bit here so uh, you can see what's going on. A lot of that is because of the limited space on your uh, map. I'll explain everything from, you know, diff different limitations to problems you might have. Space there. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, click on Create New. If you're not seeing a page like this, make sure you're in the Projects tab. We've got three different tabs across the top here. Just make sure you're in Projects. I'm going to tap on or click on Create, click once on Movie, and it's Okay, you get the idea what's going on here. Okay, now let me tell you the really cool thing about badges. In the title, I try to explain, and right below each video, I explain what that video is about. Here, let me go back here and I can show you here. Okay, so yeah, you see the title here, and then you can see what this video is about. Now, for all those students that maybe have done this before, you don't need to rewatch a video that you're already familiar with. Okay, so if that description is, is explaining something you already know, you don't need to spend your time on it. If you're a student who's never done this before, you might need to watch the video three or four times. I try to go nice and slow, but every now and then I get excited and I speed up too much, but you might need to watch it, especially if you are someone who's uh, learning English as an additional language. So sometimes my words might seem to, to go together and you might need to really um, slow it down and watch it again, okay? Uh, there is a chance that you can turn captioning on in YouTube, so you can turn that on if you need to see the captioning underneath there, and even in your uh, language that you're more familiar with, you can sometimes turn on captioning. So sometimes, even though I'm speaking in English, you can see the captioning in Spanish, depending on how YouTube has it set up, so you can do that. Now, let me give you one little warning about this, okay? Because I've been doing this now for nine years. Sometimes it can be very frustrating to work on badges alone because you really you've got a headphones on and sometimes you're with a team like the filmmaking badge you get five or six of you but it it can be a little frustrating because it, it is I guess it's because it's just you and me and we're trying to learn a new skill together but I want you the the first one or two badges might be a little frustrating but after that I promise you it gets better and you get more in the groove of things but this is called independent learning. And, and as an educator, I strongly believe, especially in the grades that you're getting to now, that you need to start learning how to learn by yourself. Okay, and that's what the badges is all about. And it's very rewarding. So I want you to just right now, look at me right now and know and trust me that if you stick with me through a few of these badges, you're gonna love it and you're gonna earn lots and lots of badges, okay? But I'm telling you that first one could be the hardest because it's just you and me and I'm telling you to do things and then you got to go do them. But stick with it and it's going to be great and you're going to create the most amazing things with your technology that your friends, your family, your grandma, everybody's going to be like, how have you made this? It is going to be so cool. So uh, I think you're ready. I think it's time. We're done with the trainings now. You now know what a badge is and how to do a badge. It's time to go back to that page and start working on your badge. Now, let me tell you how they are. Some badges are assigned, okay? So your teacher will say, you must earn the Google Student 2 email ones, and they'll put that on the board, or they'll give you that in assignment. You must earn that. So go ahead and do what your teacher asks you to do. Other times, your teacher might just say, pick any badge you want to work on. Now, my advice to you is don't jump into a higher level badge. So if you're really interested in photography, iPad photography, don't jump into iPad photography level four because every badge I do, I build on the one before it. Okay, so you might want to just review level one, review level two, make sure there's nothing you're missing. If you are, just watch a few videos and then do three and four to do, to do that. Okay, so but that's essentially how it works. I want to show you one last thing before we go. Let's go back onto the MacBook here. After you're done all the lessons, and see, look at this, I provide scripts for you so you don't have to do um, rewrite all that. You can just copy and paste that. But there's a section at the bottom called your turn. Okay. And that's where I explain what you need to do to earn this badge. Okay. And, and it's usually just a short one minute video. And then it'll also give you a little bit of a checklist. This is so that you know that your, your work is going to be graded and that you're going to earn the badge. Okay. So a little checklist here. I like to call this the things that drive Mr. Flick crazy about students and badges list because sometimes you're turning things in. I'm like, no, I don't understand the sound. Your sound is so bad, you gotta go redo it. So you can just use this little checklist before you turn it in. 
and then it tells you what you need to do to earn that badge. And sometimes I have some extra resources down here. Sometimes there's books, other videos, things like that that you can use. But essentially that is how to earn your badge. Okay, that's how to get it all done. So go have fun with it. And I can't wait to see. Remember, email me if you've got a great project. I would love to see it. But other than that, there is a person in your building that does all the badging for you and they will take a look at it and they will be soon bringing you dun, 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 dun. i wish i had a badge to show you i'm just my fingers bringing you a badge soon all right have fun with it